4.30 or 4.45, get this and drink. <laughs> oh, at yeah. the same time, oh, no. let it go down. And sometimes you have to hold on the water bottle for as long as you can just to, to cover the move. How many what? How many feed stations are you going to be drinking out of? Every three miles. Every three miles. So, yeah. Nine bottles. Nine, nine or eight. 24.7 times. What's going to be inside of those bottles? The same thing that has that. Uh, electrolyte. Electrolyte? Yeah, and then some, some gel. Some oh. gel there. Inside. Where do you carry the gel? I, put, I mix it every night before. So it's easier than I'll put it in there. And the other stuff. How many hours are you going to try to sleep the night before the race, man? As long as I can. Sometimes three hours, sometimes two hours, sometimes I hope it's five hours. Right. I don't sleep the night before my races. Alright, good. Yes. I'm going down from altitude to sea level. I'm cutting back my training from 120 to about 90 or 50 the week of. So, too much energy. Uh, and one night I went to sleep at 9.45 p.m. I got up at 11 p.m. That was like a nap. Uh, but I'm glad it's morning races versus night races because I couldn't function. What time does the race start? Like our time? Our race starts on August 12, 11 a.m. I like, I like better 7 a.m. races. I can get up and go. Uh -huh. Versus how much to eat, how much to drink, and what to eat. The later part of the race is the difficult it is. Uh -huh. So when was the last time you actually ran a full distance? Huh? When was the last time you ran a full distance? You know, full fun? distance? Yeah. Two weeks ago with Tomas. Oh, okay. We did the airport loop, the ridge, three times. Uh, 8.6, three times. Yeah. Uh, and here are the future runners for the future Olympians 20, 2028. Come on. Alright, who's gonna beat me? Oh, uh, Sad, I'm coming after you. Ready?
tree. That was in the sub-450. I was invited to go to Italy for after to train it. Oh, really? But I had to pass on because this is a hard place to be. Yeah. <laughs> so other than running, how do you prep yourself? How do I what? Prep myself? Yeah, other than other than running. Oh, I'm busy with the girls and the wife. And my wife is just you know, so everything I've been doing right now has been eating, sleeping, breathing, running. I've been sleeping every day for a nap and I'm playing behind from my training so that's why I don't go to Italy part of it. I wanted to stay here, get fed, and I'll be out of been running like Mary almost every other day at 9,000 feet. So I condition myself to be ready to go for London and now it's time to race and see what happens. I give it my best shot. All you could do is get to the sign line healthy, give it all the preparation you can, and see what happens then. I, I feel very at peace that I gave it a, everything that I have to get ready, so now it's because what happens that day. That's the beauty of competition. People don't win on papers or favorites. No? My performance, and I hope to give my best performance in London. It is, it is my last Olympics, and it's more for my girls and my wife and family and friends who we're looking at about 46, 47 people going to watch me run, and it's my last one, so I want to give it 110 percent. <laughs> 